Now it's your turn to shine, so let me see if I can't find a couple of helpers out there in the audience. Hold your hand up if you'd like to help, because here I come, ready or not. Thank you, Stephanie. Come on over here to the middle of the mess, and I'm put the young lady on this side. Let me find out who my friends are. My name's David, and you are? Isabella. Isabella, nice to meet you, and you are? Trent. Trent. Magic. Done with a marker, some envelopes and some playing cards. Playing cards for each of you. Isabella, there's some for you. Trent, there's some for you. I want you to mix them up, shuffle them up really good, because I know there's folks in the audience that perhaps think these cards are in some prearranged order. Then I'm gonna have to give you a little test. Y'all are related? Yes. This is your? Dad. Okay, so you probably are pretty good at working together, but I got a little working together test for you. It's really simple. I want you to count your cards into my hands, one at a time, out loud, together. In Russian. No. I'm just kidding. Don't do. But try to try to stay together. Okay. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Should be ten. Nine. Ten. Give them a hand. That was nicely done. Isabella, hold on to yours. Trent, I want you to take an envelope. I want you to look inside. Make sure it's completely empty. I'm going to ask you to hide your 10 cards inside, and then ask you to do two things for me. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to seal the envelope. You can use the metal clasp and or the lick'em stick'em. And then I'm going to ask you to take the marker and either print or write your initials right there on the envelope flap, okay? Very nice. All right. Don't help him with the big words. All right, now, turn that so everybody can see. And in the interest of social distancing, just take a couple of steps that way. Very nice, that's, that's good enough. And just turn that so everybody can see and stand there and smile real big, okay? You have the easy part, all right? Isabella, yep. you have the dangerous part. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to send you into the audience. I'd like for you to have a card selected somewhere in this section right here, then have a card selected somewhere in this selection right here, and then I'm going to give you some special instructions. Okay. All right, take off. We need something to happen magically and fun. So while uh, she's down there, how about... Uh... This could be your big break in show business, but you're gonna need a new costume. Keep it up, keep it up. All right, you had two cards selected? Not yet, okay, have the second card selected. Somebody's reaching, oh, you're just handing them out. Okay, this is, <laughs> all right, so we'll, let's, go, uh, let's go right down here on the front row for the third, we're gonna have one more card selected, but this is going to be different from the first two, all right? So somebody down front that knows playing cards, one of you guys, somebody, you, sir, you'll help us? All right, sir, I don't want you to touch the cards or indicate the cards in any way. So Isabella, shovel those cards back up and don't and let him choose okay go walk over there and then show him the cards just hold them up so he can see them and sir what i'd like for you to do is to mentally select one of the cards don't touch them or indicate your selection in any way just think of one of those cards you got it now don't forget it i got it all right isabella go back and pick up card number two wherever that was make sure you remember it go back and get card number one trent now as you come back up on stage shuffle those cards up mix them up really good all right, come on up here beside me. Now, I've got, I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea what the selections were? Nope. Nope? Nope. Do you have any idea where they are? Um. That's right. They're in this envelope. <laughs> here, take the marker, and I'm going to ask you if you would, write your initials right there. Don't write on my thumbs. Oh, a left-handed. This will be artistic. Not, oh. Is that it? No, okay. No. Seal that up really good and tight for us. While she does that, I'll take the marker back and I'll recapitulate. That's a big word for go back over what we've already done. My two friends, Trent and Isabella, each counted 10 cards into my hands. Trent put his in an envelope, sealed it up. Looking good. Isabella took her cards into the audience, had three cards selected. The third one, which was a mental selection, brought your card back up, signed, sealed, delivered. You're holding on to those. All right, if you would turn and face each other. Back up just a little bit, social distancing, there we go. Now on the count of three, Isabella, I'm going to point to you, and when I do, I want you to give that packet just a little shake, like that. That's gonna send one card out of the envelope, through the air, 
And Trent, all you got to do is catch it. You ready? I have no idea how she throws. So, oh, and I forgot to tell you, we're going to do this three times. And the three cards that go, they're going to be the three cards that were chosen. Ask your card to cooperate. Thank you. Ready? One, two, three. That was pretty low energy. That's okay. I saw it. Did you see it? Card number two. One, two, three. Much better. And last but not least, card number three, which is always the hardest because there's only one person who knows. So it's on your side of the stage. So wheel it along if you would. One, two, three. <laughs> That's better. It got a little outside on you there. Can you tell the difference? You're packing a little lighter? No. Say yes. Yeah. Perfect. And you can feel weight. Yeah, heavy, heavy, heavy. Proof positive, in addition to the magic that you've seen, that three cards have traveled from Isabella's packet to Trent's packet. And uh, I'm just going to ask you, since we're friends and we're all magicians, most of us anyway, just I want you to take my word for it when I tell you that not only have three cards traveled through the air magically, the three cards that traveled were the exact three cards that were chosen. Okay, I understand you want to see the big finish. I like the big finish myself. And I don't even have to, I don't have a lot of help. I just snap my fingers. One time, all three cards go right back where they started. They just go right back. I, I feel like they're turning on us. They don't believe any of this. Uh, we're going to have to show them. Come, in, come beside me. Open up your envelope, Isabella, if you would. And, and take out the cards and, and count them into my hand, one at a time, face down out loud. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nicely done. These are too big. Hold on to those for just a second. Open it up. You've been holding it the whole time. You got it. You put them in there right here in my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 13 cards. <laughs> we should probably just quit right now, but I think I said something about the three cards being the exact three cards that were chosen. So let's see how I did. Card number one was where? Right in here somewhere. I can't see very well because of the lights. Jack of hearts. If you have the jack of hearts, don't say anything. No, it's not there. If you have the jack of hearts, just hold it up so everybody can see. Card number one, the jack of hearts. Second card was jack of spades. Oh, we're going for the jacks. You got a jack of spades? Nope. Nope. So far, so good. The jack of spades. We have the jack of hearts. We have the jack of spades. Now, before we go to the third card, I wish to point out a couple of things. I want to remind you how this card was selected. This card was not taken from the fan. It was not pointed to. It was not indicated in any way. This card was merely thought of. I sure hope you remember, sir, because you're the only person in this room. In fact, you're the only person in the world who could know the identity of this card. Please, folks, remember that. And as you remember that, remember this. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. All right, the card that you merely thought of. The Queen of Clubs. Queen of Clubs? No. Nope. Queen of Clubs? And there it is, the Queen of Clubs. To go with the Jack of Hearts and the Jack of Spades. You keep the envelope, I keep the cards. Thank you, Trent. Thank you, Isabella. Give them a big round of applause. And thank you, Winter Carnival of Magic. Good night.